Hi there, my name is Travis. Um, I'm here in the Sci-Fi Tech Featured Exhibit at the Rochester Museum and Science Center uh, doing a little 3D printing demo. So I just started a print. This is our MakerBot printer. It uses a process called Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM for short. So what's happening here, I have a digital computer file that is loaded onto a flash drive. The computer inside the printer slices that file into really thin layers, hundreds of layers. And just like each layer would be like a sheet of paper in your printer. Um, and then it uses a special type of plastic called PLA, which starts out in a coil, looks like this. What's really cool about PLA is it's made from vegetables, fermented vegetable starch. Uh, so it is a type of plastic, but it's very sustainable and it can be reused really easily. The PLA goes into this piece that's moving back and forth here. It's called an extruder. It heats up to about 419 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the extruder prints each layer, or it essentially draws each layer onto the build plate here. And when one layer is completed, that build plate will move down very, very slightly. And then the next layer is gonna be drawn right on top. So each of those layers that was sliced up just gets printed one on top of the next, and that's how you end up with your 3D printed object. I have some examples here that I can show. This is an Apollo astronaut. Um, and it actually, when we print it, it prints upside down with some supports on the legs so it doesn't fall over. And if you look really closely, it's probably hard to see on camera, but there are really, really thin lines. Each of those lines represents one layer of the print. Each line is about 0.1 millimeters thick, so really, really thin. There is a different type of 3D printing process called stereolithography. Um, you can get much better resolution prints with that, and I have one here. Um, stereolithography uses a type of liquid resin, so it's still a plastic type material. Um, and there's a computer connected to the printer that controls a laser that's inside the printer. That laser, as soon as it's focused onto the liquid resin, creates a chemical reaction to form polymers within the resin. Those polymers harden to make your final object that you're printing. I'm printing something that should help with the current um, situation that we're in right now. It's a hands-free door handle attachment uh, so that we'll be able to attach it to doors and open those without touching the handle. This is going to take about three hours to complete printing. That's actually relatively short compared to some other things that we've printed. Uh, we have a pretty cool uh, box right here that we can just toss our extra PLA in and then it will get sent away and then repurposed into new raw material. If you look over here on the International Space Station, 3D printers are super helpful. Um, either hardware that may not have been brought with the astronauts uh, before the launch, or tools that weren't brought with them can be 3D printed um, in order to fix things in real time. Um, so that's, that's something that's very, very useful Maybe someday we'll land on Mars, um, and in that case, we'll definitely be using 3D printers to print homes or other buildings or uh, anything that we'll need there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.